Welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us. Police in Ajuso have arrested two people, including a private security officer, for kidnapping a 14-year-old boy and demanding $3,000 a $3,000 ransom from the family. Charles Apia, who is 38 years, and his accomplice, security officer Manasse Fumi, are said to have kidnapped the victim at KNUST Junction in Kumasi after luring him from his Kwamu family house. A third person, identified only as Felix, who is on the run, is being sought after by the police. The shout of the boy from an uncompleted building at Apatrapa, a suburb of Kumasi, where he was being kept, led to the rescue. My colleague Ohim Interior has been following up on this story. He joins me on the line with more. Ohim, um, Ohim, if you can hear me, furnish up with, with 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 more details about this story. Uh, thank you, uh, Gifty. Uh, apparently, the victim's parents uh, reported uh, the missing of the 14-year-old boy at a Jusso a police a uh, few days ago, and the police investigation. Uh, later uh, led to the arrest of uh, Charles Apia, who apparently uh, was being, uh, you know, was assisting police investigations uh, as informant. And he told uh, police that he overheard the second uh, uh, suspect, uh, Mr. Fume, or Manasi Fume, discussing the kidnapping uh, uh, agenda with one fellow who is currently uh, on the run. Uh, so uh, police went in and arrested uh, Manasi, but later uh, Manasi also told police that uh, this uh, first man who was serving as uh, police informant was actually part of the plan to kidnap the suspect. So it was yesterday at about uh, 12 uh, p.m. police in Tadoso uh, got information from an informant that the 14-year-old boy uh, has been spotted in a secluded a building at Apatrapa, mm. a suburb of Kumasi, right. uh, which police at Tanosu moved in swiftly and rescued uh, the 14-year-old boy. Okay. And the information that police have seen from the 14-year-old boy indicates that uh, this uh, Manasi and uh, uh, Charles, after planning uh, this kidnapping uh, issue, uh, con you know, consulted a fellow uh, who is at large, and uh, you know, uh, he, the fellow, uh, portrayed himself as someone uh, living in abroad and promised to buy a mobile phone and a laptop for the 14-year-old boy. So uh, before he was kidnapped, he was invited uh, to meet a fellow at Ted Junction in Kumasi, uh, where we are told he was telephoned into oh, oh, a mean, do, Toyota Korea vehicle. Right. Oh, I mean, do we, know, do we know if there was a, 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 an existing relationship between this boy uh, this 14-year-old boy and those who have been arrested for kidnapping, was there an existing relationship? What, what we do know is that the suspects who have been arrested live in the same city uh, with the victim, okay. except Felix, who is not known in the area. So apparently, uh, Felix took advantage of uh, he not being familiar with the victim uh, to take the, the lead uh, stand in this kidnapping uh, issue. Okay, and what, do we know where the boy is as, at the moment, the 14-year-old? Where is he? Is he with his parents? Yes, yeah. I think now he has been rescued and reunited with the uh, family, uh, the grandmother. Actually, the victim demanded $3,000 from the grandmother before he will be released. But as we speak, we are at the uh, Ashanti Regional Police headquarters with the boy, uh, as well as the two suspects, when the police will address the media uh, on the matter. Mm. Okay. And ha has the family of this boy spoken to you at all? Not at all. Not at okay. all. Well, Ahime, we'll come back to you for more information. Now we know that one of them is on the run, but the police has arrested two of them and the boy is okay. Ahime, interior there with that report.